Hey, 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 it's Ashley here and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing how I created this super easy sign using some of my scrap MDF. So if you have any scrap MDF around, this would be a perfect DIY to do if you have any event coming up. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's start this out. So this is the scrap piece that I use. I actually have two of these um, sheets. So anyways, I used this one, and the first thing I did, of course, was I measured out how long I wanted this to be. So once I found that measurement, I just marked it with my pen, and the next thing I did was I cut this out using my circular saw. Once this was cut out, I just um, took my sander, and I started to sand around and smooth out any of the rough edges. All right, so now this is cut. So this is a little over 24 inches wide and it is 32 inches long um, so I've sanded it down and now I am going to paint this so since I'm basically still living out of literally my boxes in here I have not taken out my stuff in the garage I'm gonna dig in here and see what colors I can use for the board because this is like all my paints and spray paints it's pink all right, so as you can see, I chose this pretty pink color that I didn't even know I had. So the color is called um, Sweet Angel, and it is so cute. So I chose this color because this sign is actually for my cousin's, it was for my cousin's baby shower because this is definitely past. So this worked out perfectly. So I just, as you can see, drizzled it onto the MDF, and now I am just taking my paint roller and I am rolling this on, and I'm pretty sure I did two coats for this. All right, so moving along, the next thing I did was I came into my Cricut design space because I am going to be creating mine using my Cricut because I do not have good handwriting. If you have good calligraphy skills, you can definitely just write on the sign, but <laughs> I don't, so I'm using my Cricut for this. So I just sized it up to the size that my um, sign is, and then I found my font. So this is the font that I had first and I didn't really like it, so I changed it to the font cupcake. And um, once I did that, I started to create the stain for the sign. So this is a baby shower sign. I'm not really gonna bore you with putting the whole sign together, but this part right here, I had to take, um, I don't know if that was a T or a J, I think it was a T, and I just like cut this because the J for this particular font looked a little weird. So I just took the top part of this and added it on so it looked like a capital J. And then once that was done, the whole sign was complete and it was time for me to cut this out on to my Cricut once I got everything nice and in order. So after the Cricut was finished cutting out my design, of course I came out here and I started to cut around the design and then once I got everything cut out, I then took my weeding tool and I started to weed everything and remove the vinyl that needed to be removed. And the vinyl that I'm using is one of my favorites. So this is the permanent and the color is gold and it looks so good, I love this one. So after I was finished weeding everything out, I just placed everything on the sign to make sure that it was proportionate and if I needed to make something larger, I would make it larger. If I needed to make it smaller, smaller. But it was just fine, so I was good to go. All right, so after that, I'm, I'm at my Nana's house right now. <laughs> so I'm on her floor and I am um, just taking the sign and putting it all together. So I'm using my transfer tape and I am just adding all the words onto transfer tape. So before I actually use my scraper tool and permanently add this to the sign, I just placed these where they needed to be placed and made sure it looked right and then after I got that placement right of course I just added this to my sign So 
So before I show you the final reveal of that sign, I'm just going to show you how I quickly just made these tags. So I took this um, little onesie and I either brought it in or this was an image on the Cricut Design Space, but I really feel like I brought this in. So anyways, I just did like these little hugs and kisses tag because we made like these little gift things that had like kisses and stuff in it. So I'm just making this quick little tag. Again, coming in with the same font and I'm just creating the tag part now. So after I got all that placement good and it looked nice, the next thing I did of course was I just printed this out. So I printed this out first and then I got the Cricut to cut out the actual tags. So this is what it looks like when it is printed. So I'm now going to just be adding this onto my light grip mat. And then once I added it to the light grip mat, I just um, put it onto my Cricut so that my Cricut can cut out the onesie part and create the tags. So these are not the tags that we actually use because I realized that I did not change the J's on these. And then I also used regular paper. So I changed it to cardstock, I added the little hole at the top, and then I changed the J. And those are the ones that we ended up using. <laughs> okay, so here's how everything turned out. So these are the tags. I'm so glad that I added the little holes on the top because they were so easy to add to the bags. This is a sign, so I ended up adding the flowers at the top. Her theme was like, oh baby. So this turned out perfect. I was actually super shocked and surprised and so happy that I made this sign. <laughs> um, and she absolutely loved it. So that's the best part. Um, and this is just a little bit of things I'm just showing you guys. Um, we did her baby shower in my Nana's backyard and we had um, different areas set up. And this was a nice, cool day and I was just so happy I was able to make that sign for her. We had so much fun. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have some MDF that's left over that you can use This is something that you can do making a sign for an event um, If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up Make sure you comment down below to let me know what you think and I will see you in my next one. Bye